Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 8 to the power x plus 8 to the power x plus 8 to the power x, this is equal to 40. What is the value of x? Now, let's provide the solution here. 8 to the power x is common here, so we can, we can factor out 8 to the power x. Into the brackets here, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is equal to 40. So this implies we have 8 to the power x multiplied by 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is 3. So this is equal to 40. Let's divide both signs by 3. So that now, here we have 8 to the power x. This is equal to 40 over 3. The next step is that so for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So we have log 8 to the power x. This is equal to log 40 over 3. Now, the next step is that log 8 to the power x. This is in the form of log a to the power n, which you can express as n log a. Applying this power rule property of logarithm, then log 8 to the power x becomes x log 8. This is equal to log 40 over 3. Now, let's divide both signs here by log 8 by log 8. So that now, the value of x here is equal to log. This is 40 over 3 divided by log 8. So, the next step here, we have that log 40 over 3. This is in the form of log a over b, which we can express as log a minus log b. So, this implies that, so this implies that x is equal to log 40 over log 8 subtract rock 3 divided by rock 8 we can express 40 as 8 multiplied by 5 so we have that x will be equal to rock 8 times 5 divided by rock 8 then subtract rock 3 divided by rock 8 So log 8 times 5, this is in the form of log a times b, which you can express as log a plus log b. Now applying this logarithm property, then we have that x is equal to log 8 over log 8, then plus log 5 over log 8, then subtract log 3, divided by log 8. So this implies that we can simplify rock 8 and rock 8 here so that x is equal to 1 plus this is rock 5 over rock 8 then subtract rock 3 divided by rock 8. The next step is that 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power 3. We can substitute this so that x is equal to 1 plus this is rock 5 over Rock 2 to the power 3, subtract rock 3, divided by rock 2 to the power 3. Now applying the power root property here, we'll have that x is equal to 1 plus rock 5 over 3 rock 2, then subtract rock 3, divided by 3 rock 2. So here we have that rock 5 over rock 2 and rock 3 over rock 2. This is in the form of rock A over rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Now, applying this logarithm property, then this follows that we have x equal to 1 plus 1 over 3, rock 5 to base 2, then subtract 1 over 3, rock 3 to base 2. Now, this is the value of x. 
this is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Let's verify here. Now, if you recall here, we have that 8 to the power x plus 8 to the power x plus 8 to the power x. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, since 8 to the power x is common here, we can factor out 8 to the power x. So that in the parentheses, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is equal to 40. So this implies we have 8 to the power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, let's substitute the value of x. We have that 8 to the power. This is 1 plus 1 over 3. This is rog 5 to base 2. Subtract 1 over 3. Rog 3 to base 2. Then here, multiply all this by 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So the next step here, we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. So let's substitute this. So we have 2 to power 3. Multiplying by here, we have 1 plus 1 over 3. This is rog 5 to base 2. Subtract 1 over 3 rog. This is 3 to base 2. Close the bracket here. Multiply here everything by 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, the next step is that we can simplify this. We'll have 2 to the power 3 times 1, which is 3, plus 3 and 3 here simplify. So we have rock. This is rock 5 to base 2, subtract. Now, 3 and 3 here simplifies. So subtract rock 3 to base 2. Now, everything here is multiplied by 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, the next step is that 2 to the power 3 plus rock 5 to base 2 minus rock 3 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power n plus m, which we can express as a to the power n times a to the power m. And also, this is in the form of a to the power n minus m, which we can express as a to the power n over a to the power m. Now, applying this exponent property, then this follows that we have 2 to the power 3 times 2 to power rog 5 to base 2 then divided by 2 to power rog 3 to base 2 this is supposed now everything here multiplied by 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 40 now this implies that here 2 to power 3 here this is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2 and this is equal to 8 so we have 8 times 2 to the power of 5 to base 2 divided by 2 to the power of 3 to base 2. Everything here multiplied by 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, this implies that 2 to the power of, now we have 2 to the power of 5 to base 2. This is actually in the form of m. Actually, this is in the form of m to the power of a to base m. And this is actually equal to, to a. Now, 2 to the power of 5 to base 2, that is 2 to the power of 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 5. And 2 to the power of 3 to base 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 3. So, let's substitute these two values here. So, we have 8 times 5 divided by 3. Then, everything here multiplied by 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So clearly here, we can simplify 3 and 3 here. So that we have 8 times 5, this is equal to 40, which is equal to 40. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is equal to 1 plus a third rock 5 to base 2, minus a third rock 3 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. 
see you in the next video bye bye